Okay, today we're going to review our knowledge of square and cube numbers. Remember that a square number, sometimes what we see is people think, oh yeah, that just means four times two. No, 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 no. So the idea of the square, remember, is if I imagine I've got a square, I know that all of the sides are the same. So all of the sides are going to be four. And four squared then, I'm finding the area of this square, which will be four times four, length times width, which is 16. So four squared is 16. And in fact, the square numbers are those numbers that when you, uh, if you use a counter for each digit or each unit inside them, you can make a square array. So if we think about four, I can make a square array because I can have four rows of four. 4, 8, 12, 16. 6 squared then is 6 times 6, 6 times itself, which is 36. And again, I can make a square because I'll have 6 rows of 6. So I've got 6 here, oops, all the way down, and 6 across. So I've got a square made out of six. You'll go try these two, pause the video and come back when you're ready. So if you've got these, five squared is the same as five times five, which is 25. And then seven squared, same as seven times seven, which is 49. What about cubes then? Well, with a cube, we introduce an extra component. So we've already seen with square numbers, we've got, for instance, two and two, so the height and the width will be the same. With a cube number, I'm now also adding in this idea of depth, this third dimension. So I'm adding in this bit here, depth, so also two. So now I'm timesing two times two times two. I've got three lots of two. It's not two times three, it's three lots of that number. So two times two is four times two is eight. So two cubed is eight. So here I've got four times four times four. Four times four is 16. 16 now times four. Well, I might need a written calculation. I might be able to do that in my head because I know that 10 times four is 40. I know six times four is 24. So I get to 64. Four cubed is 64. Pause the video now, you have a go at these. Okay, so it's the same as three times three times three. Three times three is nine, times three is 27. And then again, five times five times five. Five times five is 25, times five is 125. Now, sometimes you get questions like this where you have to then use these square and cube numbers to do something with. So in a question like this, well, first of all, I need to work out what is two cubed, what is four squared. So two cubed, I know is eight, two times two times two. Four squared is 16, four times four. Add them together, I get 24. Same here, maybe I don't know four cubed straight away, so I'll do that, I'll write it out, four times four times four. Four times four, remember, was 16 times four is, well, we said, didn't we, 10 times four is 40, 6 times 4 is 24, put them together, so I get 64. So I've got 64, subtract 5 times 5, which is 25. Again, I'm going to count back 20, is 44, count back 5, gives me 39. Lots of different ways I could have represented that, whatever is most comfortable for me. Have a go at these final two, and then you'll be ready for the independent task. Okay, so I know three cubed is 27. The more of these we just know, the easier it becomes. Six squared is 36. Um, I might just line that up like this, but it wasn't going to do it in my head. Seven add six is 13. Two and three is five, add the one, six. So I get 63. Five cubed, 125, minus nine squared, nine times nine, which is 81. So I'm going to, again, do a written method. Could do it mentally, lots of different ways I could do it. Uh, 
oops, uh, what am I doing? 44, sorry. So I get 44, 12 subtract 8 is 4. So 5 cubed subtract 9 squared is 44. So have a go now at your independent task. Again, notice with these, a little bit like um, when we've been doing inequalities with equations on each side, you need to work out first of all, what is this value? What is this value? Then I can add them together. 